you have surely noticed that most top teams adopt a 3-2-5 formation when in possession of the ball. Teams like Barcelona, Arsenal, Atletico Madrid, and even Liverpool play in this formation. But why is this formation so popular? We will delve into that. We know that formations change depending on the phase of play and zone. The formation looks different deep in one's own half compared to zones 2 and 3. To answer this question, let's first take a look at the four principles of positional play. Creating depth, the attacking team should strive for depth. A pass into depth is particularly uncomfortable for the opponent, as it allows an attacker who is played behind the defense to run towards the goal undisturbed, presenting a significant chance for a goal. Even if the pass isn't executed, it's important to generate depth to create more space in between the lines. Occupying the center, defending the center is of high importance for the opposing defense, alongside protecting depth. The central player has the opportunity to direct the game in any direction, posing a significant challenge for the defense as they cannot predict precisely what action will follow. To leverage this advantage, the attacking team must occupy the center of the field. Occupying the width. At first, this principle might seem strange. Usually, defending teams try to push their opponents to the sides of the field. This is because the sides are farther from the goal, and there's less space to move. However, it's still important for the attacking team to spread out wide. Imagine if a team didn't have players on the sides. The opponent wouldn't need to worry about covering that part of the field. Occupying spaces between the lines, both creating width and establishing depth aim to stretch the opponent's defense. The opponent should ideally have to cover as much space on the field as possible, rather than condensing it. The resulting gaps opened by the opponent must also be filled, especially the area between the lines. When a player receives the ball in this area, they have the opportunity to turn and attack towards the opponent's goal. As you can see, the 3-2-5 or 3-2-2-3 formation fulfills these principles quite well and has therefore become prevalent among many teams. This formation is well balanced, as it allows for an offensive approach with 5 players attacking while also providing 5 players to secure positional play in case of a loss of possession, also known as rest defense. However, it always depends on the opponent. If they play with only one striker up front, many teams often switch to a 2-3-5 formation, as having two defenders still maintains numerical superiority over the lone striker. Most coaches prefer to have one extra player at the back compared to the opponent. However, there are exceptions. In an older video, I provided more information on the topic of rest defense. I hope this video explained why the 3-2-2-3 or 3-2-5 formation is popular in football. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Also, what other topics would you like me to cover in future videos? Just let me know in the comments. Thanks a lot.